some jow. What's up, everybody? All right, so we're at Boy Vane. We're gonna take a look, see what it looks like during the fourth wave. What's open, what's closed. Before we get into that, I have launched a new channel called Live Fat and Broke IRL. It's gonna be for the live streaming. The link is for that in the description. We need to get to 1,000 subs as fast as possible until I can stream. If I don't have 1,000 subscribers, they won't let me stream. That's their rule. So if we want to see me stream all the time, go over to that channel and subscribe. And it's also going to be a form of a backup channel, I guess, too. So yeah, go and do that. Smash the like button. It really helps with the algorithm. Comment if you haven't commented. And of course, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. There's so much content that I do daily. Uh, we got over 600 videos now. I mean, yeah. All that stuff helps me. So if you want to help me, that's how you can help me. Let's go check shit out. She's driving just like a vehicle. Highly do not recommend that driving style in any kind of fashion. At all. The quickest way to get pulled over as an expat is to drive like this guy. fighting with a guy. Not wise to fight with local Vietnamese either. That guy uh, probably isn't having the greatest go. Go. Well, Ali's Boo is open. Even though it's a whack place to go, it's open. They're probably under their restaurant guys. I'm really curious to see what's going on with Crazy Buffalo. Whatever it's called, Crazy Horse. It, it's gone now. I've already said this before, but they let the lease go on that crazy buffalo horse, whatever it was called, will never be seen again. The owner of the building's looking to uh, rent it to a new, new place. There's this popular expat place here that opened up. The expats like to come at night when uh, things aren't closed down. So much shit's closed here, it's insane. All these tourist places are defunct now. I mean, look at the amount of closures. You've got probably a room for rent in that bottom thing to rent there. Look at, I mean, this is way crazier than even last time. Starting from this side here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So 24 closed locations. And we'll keep that counting at 24. I'm gonna keep that in my head. 24 just on this street. Boy Vane, as you knew it, I don't think will ever be how you know it again. Um, most certainly not. Just the amount of shit closed here is 24. Oh, there's some more up here, so it's gonna, the ticker's gonna go up. I thought that expat place. I think it's this place. Aloha Boys. No. Oh, it's across from this one. So we'll see. Should be a pretty good video, guys. I might have to swap out batteries. What is this? Oh, kind of cool entrance. I think this is new, but it looks like it's, it doesn't have a for rent sign on it, so it's still gonna try to maintain its dignity. This place that everybody likes, Boheme, uh, still open, no for rent sign. Uh, I do believe this is the new expat bar. If I remember right, this is where all the expats were sitting. I can't remember. This probably is a for rent sign on this one, so that brings us to 25 on this street. And then this one, 26. And this one, it just opened after the first wave and didn't even make it to the second wave. We actually did some footage there. Did they put a screen on waving? What the hell is on the top of it? They put a digital LED screen up there? Uh, it looks like this place is out too. Yeah, this place is vacant now too. This hotel went under. Here's go to with this relook. Uh, they did put an LED wall up there, it looks like. How about you, Boy Vane? Trying to probably bring that business back. Let's check out over here. Hello, my Hello. 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 This is probably the same as usual, the same affair it always is down here. These bars all suck down here, in my opinion. Yolo's like the worst place ever to drink. The DJs are horrendous here too. Slapping that Vina house every second. It's my biggest pet peeve. That's why I can't stand Boy Vang that much anymore. It's the exact same music played at every single place. 
out of sync, out of beat. It's like, ugh. it's cool when you're like new to it. Don't get me wrong. I didn't mind, but now it, it just gets on my nerves. And then you got the sports bar here. You know, standard affair. Oh, this place is doing some, some redo work here. So they must have, I don't see it for rent, so it must have been rent. And then we'll take a look at what the uh, Crazy Horse building's looking like. Crazy whatever, Buffalo. Uh, people were all like, when I said it, <laughs> they love to correct me. Like, who, what, who cares what the hell the fucking name of it is? Crazy Horse, Buffalo, same shit to me. So it's all white now. Yeah, it actually looks pretty nice. They did a good job renovating it. I don't know what... Yeah, they put a new front on. It looks nothing like it did before though, eh? Here, I'll show you. So that is your once... And when I was here, no one was ever at Crazy Buffalo or Crazy Horse ever when I was here. So this is what it, it looks like now. It's all white. They redid the front. Everything's redone. Let's go across the street and then cross over here. Take a look at this side street and then we'll go back down to the main the, the attraction of the, the movie. So these places are all still open. I think this place was called Zoomies. I always forget the name, but Zoom. They had a great burger. They had a good combo. You got a beer with the burger. It's still closed. No one's decided to rent that out yet. And then this lady owns her bar, this Happy Life 185. She just lives above. So she just stays remaining open. She's actually a pretty hot old lady. I think she was on stream a few times. I don't remember this place. I think it's just, just kind of like the same, same affair. So let's go get into the nitty gritty of it. What we're all here to see. So yeah, the LED thing is new on top of Boy Vane. They must have added that in between the last time I was gone. It looks like they redid the whole thing. They put in a whole, a whole new structure. She's all yelling at her kid. Okay. Let me try to get that for the screenshot. So go to is close. They're not opening for the night. You got Monaco still closed. No one rented it yet. This used to be a popular spa. Seems like they're still trying to keep it flowing. Here we go. And there we go, thumbnail. Lost in Saigon, not doing very well. They remodeled and tried to redo the place. No one really just goes there, it just never took off. Valentine, where I used to DJ, has never reopened since way long time ago when it was shut down, well before the pandemic. The guy stopped paying the bribes and they came in and took all the DJ equipment when we were playing one night. Here's Volcano, not too popular either, Amazon. They're used to, it's okay, not my place, pretty expensive. These are all very expensive now. They, instead of lowering prices, they just said, fuck it, we'll raise the prices to try to compensate for the uh, loss of business. Very weird business model. This place often had cute chicks working here. 86 Pho Toy, very popular, Pho, Pho Thai, whatever the name is, very popular. You can tell they're closed, so nobody's flaunting the rules this time, like they did on this last wave. Not that I've seen. We'll be able to tell. Miss Saigon's the like indicator of Shop 24. This is new. This place, I think, has a pool table. That was the main appeal. It looks completely shut on the inside. I don't know if they're. She's sitting there though. So. Spa and nail. What else do we have? Some outdoor seating. So just an FYI, the, the outdoor stuff right here still remains. Where these places bring out the chairs and you sit here. It's really the only cheap place to get a drink here now. All the clubs and stuff are all aligned on the high pricing now, so. Yeah. The battery's crushing. Right? Let's see, what is this place? Some Saigon chill bar. Not open. Everything's closed. Monaco 2 not open. Last time I filmed during the last wave, Monaco 2, what is that? What are they? What are they looking for? Miss Stu? They must be looking for employees. 
a lot of places are looking for employees because a lot of these people, even a couple of my friends, went back to their hometown and they're not from Saigon. Like 80% of the employees for all these places, the same with like uh, Japantown, they went back home and they're not gonna come back because they just can't keep affording to get closed again, not be out at work for 30 days to 90 days. It's just, you know, so there's a massive amount of people needed to work at these places when they do open, forever temporarily they open. Here's Miss Saigon. I mean, as you can see, it looks pretty different from probably the last time you were here. Sahara's got a little party going on out there. Maybe it's the vendor, the vendor's chair. I'm drinking some teas, cranking some hoons. Here's Miss Saigon. No one's in there drinking. They're following the rules. Rules are being followed. Oh, we get to see what this place, this coffee shop's turning out into. My mom was looking at me. Not available, mom. No milfs for me. I don't know what this big shutter is. I thought that was the egg coffee place. Isn't it the egg? I don't know. I can't remember. Hair of the dog. Uh, I, I, in my opinion, the best club on the uh, the block here. Hair of the dog. She's weathered a few uh, storms, huh? <laughs> Rode hard and put out wet. What else do we got here? It's blue sky too. Closed. So everybody's following the rules this time. I don't see any for, more for rent signs on you know, all the classic places. And then here we've got this little coffee place that always stays open. You know, I've never seen them close. If you come here at night, that's where the expats usually are. The ones that live around here. I forget what this place is. Black, it's a lady bar. So I mean, blah. This building looks cool. I wonder what they're doing with it. I'm gonna imagine it's gonna be a drinking place just by the way it's set up a club. This looks like a club. Definitely got a club. Oh, it's garbage collection here. Real nice. We'll go down here, box around, come back, and then go down here. I wonder if Celebrity Inc. is still managed to somehow stay afloat. They can't be profitable there. They need tourism for tattoos too. I don't see any kind of... Oh, they're getting overspray everywhere. I don't want to get it on my lens. This guy's just spraying out in public. Check my lens. I don't want to get over, over it. Some expats drinking over here. Um. <laughs> he knows me. I'm a mark target. Little cafe place. That's why they're able to. Yeah, I don't know how this place weathers the storm. I mean, this is the scene every time I film it. Just a dude sitting around. A Duke 390. A bit overkill for uh, Saigon, but whatever. If you feel you need the power. And the good old Duk Vong Hotel that has the amazing rooftop, I don't know if that's open. I'm gonna imagine no. But it's a great place to take a date. That craft beer place is closed, 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 closed. I don't know, I bet you if we counted, it's 75 places are closed permanently and need re-rented since this thing's oh here we go oh they did it did nice the led looks good we get to see it in a second this place still hasn't been rented out which is odd the location of it's pretty good salad station this is where my oh he's close too what the fuck maybe he business is bad already for him I've been saying I'm gonna drop off my clothes to him for months. I just put all the Hawaiian shirts in like a bag. Oh, he's already closed? Huh. That's weird. The one shitty Mexican restaurant that's now Indian restaurant, they're closed too. 
I'm gonna guess that uh, Baba stays open because they do well on delivery food. Oh, it's, it's run on Windows 10, this panel. And it's not lit on the left properly. Maybe they're still setting it up. Oh yeah, I can see them working on it. So they must have just got these installed. Yeah, see, you can see a grab guy at Baba's now taking a grab order. So they're surviving because if you've ever tried it once, you know it's the best Indian food in town. So, yeah. Oh yeah, he's over here on the Windows 10 laptop right now. Programming away. Trying to figure out why it probably doesn't light up all the way. Oh no, he's wiring that now. So he's got the wire going. I'll show you. He's got the wire going down here to this cylinder drum. And that's why it's not lit up. And then this guy is on the laptop programming the sign now. And he looks extremely frustrated. Yes, I can see that look. I know that look. That's the look of fuck this shit. So that's, they must have just literally installed these things. Probably to drum up a little bit more tourism. Oh, this is all fucked up. You got a ways to go. The wiring's bad, probably. They got that left one burning a fire. Okay, let's go check out the uh, expat alley. Oh, an expat with an age-appropriate Vietnamese woman. That's hot. Huh, what do you know? You don't see that very often. Dudes love to, old dudes love to try to have like a, I want to film them, but I don't want to be like obvious on what I'm doing. It's, yeah, she's probably, he looks like he's 45. She looks like she's 36, 37. She was very pretty. Ageism is a really popular thing here for uh, expats. I get it, man. Do whatever makes you happy. If, if you're 50 and you want to be with a 20 year old chick, I'll go for it, man. Who am I to stop you or complain? How does that affect me in any way? It doesn't, or whatever tickles your pickle. Get your tickle pickle. But that is very popular in Southeast Asia. It's a hard flex. I don't remember what this was, but it ain't here no more. Whoever remembers what this was, holler at your boy in the comment section. So yeah, we just have African Street to do. More like Expat Street, but it is where like all the dudes from Africa hang out. I don't know why they, I think one of the bars is owned by uh, a dude from Africa, so it makes sense. And they serve like traditional African food for lunch at one of the places, if I remember right. Somebody explained it to me, but I was really drunk when I was listening to this story here. It was a good looking bike. You got an exhaust on it. You got a fake, fake, fake of crap of this. This guy with this overspray. Looks like a lady boy. She's pretty hot though. She had the resting bitch face though. Sick of it. Oh, they're still spraying. You can smell the paint in the air. My feet are hurting. I'm gonna walk 14,000 steps today. It feels good to be back in the, the saddle here. This is a lady bar. Lady bar. Oh, this guy finally closed up this Fanta stay. Here's whatever this new nightclub got turned into, Shield. It was shitty before, it's shitty now. This place, I think I predicted that this one would go under. Oh no, it's this, this wine bar. I predict the wine bar won't last long. This used to have like a convenience store in it that was very busy pre-COVID. I mean, you gotta realize pre-COVID, there'd be so many people here right now. This whole place would be like super duper packed. Yeah, I don't give Woogie long. I give Woogie 
another month if it's not open, it'll be for rent. Unless the guy's just got shit tons of money to just waste. Well, that tattoo place has got people in it giving tattoos. Nobody's flaunting the rules this time. That's pretty good. They must be really coming here and clamping down hard on that app. If you do try. <laughs> guys just asked me if I want some cocaine. <laughs> do a couple lines. Do, do some fat rails. This place is for rent, whatever is here. TGR still hang out. TNR. It's a real popular expat bar. They're good for them. And then this is the pho everybody likes at the corner here, which is pretty overrated pho. Oh, it looks like they're out of business, maybe? No, I see a guy with this shirt on. I don't see how all these big places hang on to, uh, hang on. I think at this point, like I've said before, if I had an establishment here and I'm not making money and I'm just wasting money, I'm closing. Yeah, and I'm finding a new job until shit is somewhat manageable. You know what I'm saying? I just don't understand the uh, the money loss. It's got to be, you know, one month down. Even one week has got to be, like, fucking detrimental to the bottom line. All right, guys. I enjoyed that video. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting me. Make sure you subscribe to the IRL channel so we can get that pumping. Have a good day. See you on the next one. Peace out.